Hey folks, uh, this is uh, part three of our review. So this is the application problems, your favorite word problems. Okay, so here we go. Let's uh, We're going to be doing Sakatoa stuff on this. Okay, so here's the first problem. A person is standing 800 meters away from the base of the Chrysler building in New York. And the angle of elevation to look up to the top is uh, about 21.8 degrees. They have tools that measure that, by the way. How tall is the building? Okay, so here's this right here. The person is standing over there. I should have got a little stick figure person right there and, and, and put that there. Anyway, so it's 800 feet, oh, 800 meters, sorry, away from the base right there. And to look up to the top right there is 21.8 uh, degrees, so find the height of the building. Okay, so this is this is the hypotenuse. It's not being considered in this problem, so this is a tangent ratio. Okay, so the tangent of that, and then uh, get the decimal of that and cross multiply. And I looked it up. I think it was uh, 318.9 meters, something like that. So 320 meters about right there. If you were in my class, I'd be looking for this work right there, and uh, you'd be good. All right, okay, so a ramp is 120 feet long and rises vertically 15 feet. Find the angle of elevation of the ramp. Okay, so this ramp is 120 feet long right there, and then this is a tangent ratio. Are you coming in to take a test? No, I'm coming in. I would like to stop. Okay, okay, give me about three minutes, dear, and then I'll finish this, okay? All right, so this is a sine ratio, so the sine of that and then get the decimal of that. And then here we got to do shift sign or second function sign. Okay, and so when you do that, we get about 7.2 degrees right there. All right, three more. A mission control observer uh, that's 4.5 kilometers from the launch pad observes the space shuttle that's ascending. Ascending is going up. Okay, descending is going down. So the angle of elevation from the observer to the shuttle is th uh, 38 degrees. How far is the shuttle from the observer? Okay, so here's the 4.5 away from the launch pad right there, and there's the shuttle going up, ascending right there. Okay, they want to, and then there's the angle of elevation right there. They want to know what's the distance from this person uh, to the shuttle right there. Okay, so this is uh, angle adjacent hypotenuse. That's a, a cosine ratio. Okay, so the cosine of that and then find the decimal cross multiply. You're going to have to divide and we get about 5.7 kilometers in the air. Okay, uh, two more. So the length of a wire that supports a radio tower is 175 feet. The angle of elevation to the top of the radio tower from the foot of the wire is 65 degrees. How tall is uh, the radio tower? Okay, so here's that um, wire right there. It's 175 feet right there. Here's the angle right there, and we're looking for this. So this is angle opposite hypotenuse sine ratio. Okay, so find the degree, cross multiply, and we find that tower is 158.6 feet high. All right, one more. So from the top of a lighthouse, an observer notices a boat and finds the angle of depression to be 12 degrees. If the boat is 900 feet from the bottom of the lighthouse, what is the height of the lighthouse? Okay, so here's the lighthouse right there, and there's that groovy boat down there. Here's the angle of depression. They, they look, the angle of depression is from this horizontal line down to what they're looking at. So there's the angle of depression. Okay, now these two lines are parallel, so by alternate interior angles. That's going to be a 12 degrees right there, and we're looking for this height right there. This is a tangent ratio, so go ahead and set it up, cross multiply, and we get about 191.3 feet in the air. All right, if you guys uh, are in our class, you're going to get another worksheet, and that's going to be your, your answers. All right, take care. Hey, good luck on your test.